are you all doing? What we're doing in this video? Fitting the headlight brackets. Fitting the headlights. Fitting the clocks. Fitting Donald Duck. So we can work out where to put the oil cooler. Right then, so here's the oil cooler pipes going down to the bottom of the engine. Which means the oil cooler must have gone in front of the fork somewhere. I was thinking about putting it down the bottom near the underneath the radiator when that's on, but struggling for any way to uh, make some brackets. So I think I'm just going to stick with roughly where it was before, but maybe a lot lower. If you remember when I made the clocks, I had to cut all the uh, fairing bracket up to make the clocks bracket, and. Uh, that's all I have left of it. But, uh, coming off the bottom of that, there should be another bracket which fits to that. And this goes on there, obviously. So that would be down here somewhere. I'm not using this one, this one's bent and knackered. I'm just using this one to mock up. I've got to stick that on there. Make sure the holes are lined up. Go. Then with that saw there, I've got to work out how I'm going to fix that. Obviously, I've got to weld off this and cut this to a nicer shape. Weld it all up with my uh, dodgy welding skills. And, uh, but first, I've got to put all the headlight on because I don't want to do all that and then put the headlight on and it don't fit because it's hitting this. So let's get the headlight on. I didn't really want to be putting the headlight on yet, but uh, I've got to. Okay then, now which bracket went where? I think that was this side. I did right on them, did I? Left and right. I think this one is this side. Wait that on there. I can't even remember which way round they went. Like that. All like that. They went like that, didn't they? Yes, I think they went like that. There we need a bolt. Push that in there. Can we fit a washer on there? Then I'm not. I'm going to have to put some rubber behind these. There's a guy called Derek from Dick's Adventures channel. He says he did the same thing and the headlight kept sliding down. No matter how tight he did it. Stick the other bolt in there. Put the nut on the back. Do the other side and I'll get back to you. Right, I've got that one on as well. Bloody scratched it. Had another bit of touching up. Uh, I think I've got to get the clocks on as well, so I'll put the clocks on. So if we push the first bolt through there, get the socket on it. slightly then we can get the other one put the bolt in the socket uh, I think I've got to put the ignition on first haven't I? <laughs> oh my god let me take it off put the ignition in and I'll come back to you OK, so there we are with the ignition in and the clocks on. So we'll tidy all these up when I find out where I've got to cut them and chop them up and put them back together and whatever. So, back to the uh, lights. Bolt through there. Right up to that side. 
squeaky bolt. Stay there. We come round to the other side. I hope I'm going to be able to do this. Get the bolt into there. I'll just lock them up as far as I did. Then we've got to try and get Donald on. Okay, let's see if we can fit Donald. How you went? Doesn't look right, does it? Oh, yeah, it is right. I've got to paint the screen black on. Oh, that's right. So I've got to guide that up there. Try to slot my bracket onto there. Same on the other side. Try to slide that bracket onto there. Like so. Sort of wants to go on, but I'm going to have to try and wiggle the headlight into position. Okay, then, so we've got that on. But uh, it does answer my question. That is not going to fit underneath. It would fit underneath, but uh, don't forget to get the uh, suspension travel and that'll probably just scratch into the forks or scratch into the wood guard so it's not going to work there there it's back to the drawing board so yes we'll skip this for this video and move on to the engine covers so next I'm going to fit these uh, engine covers Got all the clutch casing gaskets and the uh, other gaskets, so let's get on with it. Okay, so we'll start from this side. We're going to fit the uh, pulse uh, coils or whatever they're called. Let's make sure there's no bits of metal stuck on the magnets. Okay, so they obviously go that way because that rubber goes in there. Okay, so now we've got to get, try and get them behind this uh, spider wheel thing. <laughs> spider wheel thing. Yeah, go on, John. You tell them. That one will go on there. Uh, push this one on to the bit. Like so. And this cross piece goes on the outside. I think we can push that into there. Let's push that into there, put that back in there. And hopefully that will go on there. It's a bit fiddly but it's not too bad. in there. Bit of bolt in there. A bolt in the bottom. A bit of bolt in the other bottom. And, uh, let's get a 10mm spanner. And whack them up. That's one. Need to get too bad. Three. And uh, number four wants to mess you about. Why won't number four go in? Good to tell where there's a snap bolt inside. Nope, just not lined up properly. Thank God for that. Let's 
slacken that back off. Make sure it's lined up properly. Here we go. Wrong one. Then we could tighten that one up, and then we could tighten that one back up. And there we go. It's the uh, pulse coil thing is in. Yeah, we're trying to work out which way around the wiring loom goes. I think I've got it wrong. It's like everything else. Push the wire from there out of the way. There we can get the gasket and the cover. Okay, so first I'm just going to put some grease around the gasket just in case I have to take it off again and it won't be all stuck and uh, destroy the gasket do it on both sides you should do it then we can press that on there and hopefully it should stay on there without falling off we can get the cover it wants to go on that way if I put that bolt in first line it up Bit low, one of the bottom ones up. The other bottom one. Okay, I'm going to pinch them three up. One, two, three. Two longer ones at the top, but I'm not sure if something else fixes to this, so I'm just going to push these in loosely. I'll just leave them in there loosely, so if you want to drop a comment to remind me that I've left these loose. one side we've got this side but uh, but I'm still waiting to find a chain okay then we can go to the clutch cover gasket I do wish they'd pop all the bloody poppers out before they send them to you because it's Just give you anxieties like trying to pop these out. Just pay ten quid for the gasket and then you're gonna snap it in off. You always get one that's not gonna come out. But luckily we did it. Okay, so just in case this gasket's gotta come off, I'm gonna do the same, put a bit of grease on both sides. I haven't even checked this clutch. I've got two clutches, so if we get some uh, dodgy slipping or whatever, we've got some spears. Just bear with me while I do this, and then I'll be back. Okay, so there we go. Let's carefully lift it up there. We can carefully offer it up. Don't tell me that. Oh my god, got it upside down. 
another art stopping moment. I thought they had the wrong gasket. Normally the lettering's on the outside. So let's make sure all the little holes are lined up. Uh, the postman's just been, so got my new little bolts. So I'll, the other side, what I've just done, I'll take them out and swap them. Okay, so like before, let's get to one bolt in there. <coughs> Push your tool into it. <laughs> that is all right, isn't it? Yeah, go on, push your tool into it. Uh, it starts off. There we go. <coughs> and that can hold that into place. I can stick another one in. And so on and so on. So leave that with me and I'll be back in a bit. Just loosely put them in. Just in case the gasket's moved, which it shouldn't do. It's got grease on it. These are all the same size on this uh, casing. Can tell me you're not going to locate the gasket. Go and tell me. Uh, it. Okay, then we could just uh, lightly pinch them up. Some people go into crisscross motion or whatever, but I don't think it's really necessary on this clutch cover. It'd look better with black bolts, wouldn't it? I bought them black bolts before and they just go rusty. Uh, yes, you'd probably Notice these in the background. <laughs> Drop a comment if you can guess what they're for. <coughs> Wonder where the dipstick is. I'll go look for the dipstick now. One last check on the ball. Here we go. Lovely. Now I've just got to do this one, but I'm going to make an homemade gasket for this one because I don't think I'm going to have to take that one off. Okay, so we've found the dipstick. Let's stick that back in. Perfectly splendid. Okay then, so we'll use this one to make the gasket with and we'll use this to make the gasket. Okay, so I've got my piece of card cut out. We have a dome nut which I'm going to use to locate the holes. Okay, then we can place the card on there we try to work out where the first hole is. Get your little hammer. Locate the first hole. Let's give it a few taps. Then when it changes like that, and the sound changes, you know you've gone through. Here you have your first perfect hole. Just find an old bolt, put that in there, put that in there, find the other hole, that's it, just there, a few taps, there we have our second hole, let's line them back up, put the bolts back in, Upside down, get a 
sharpie and go around it. You can get like a toffee hammer like this. And if you want to stand there going around it like that. break through. I'm just going to use the scissors and cut it out. Like so. Then I'm just going to uh, put the bolts back in again and just roughly walk it inside. There isn't nothing for this gasket to catch on in, in this case, that's why I'm just making a gasket to save eight pounds. These cost about eight quid. Stick your scissors through. Just roughly cut it out. Let's get a bit of blue gasket glue. with this here you go we can carefully wax them on the uh, port we're going to fit try not to get it all over our nice blue paint but I'm sure it'll come off with a bit of turps stick it on the engine. Okay so then we can stick our bolt in. Locate the first hole. Get the second bolt in. Just put the final bolt in. Pinch the ball up. Go too bad. There we go. Saved myself seven or eight quid, which can go towards the water pump. Yes, you probably noticed I've got the rack on and that, but just ignore that because that's all coming off again. I've just uh, experimented with trying to make this back end a little bit longer to go with the exhaust because I definitely do not want to be stubbying that because I stubbed the ZX or street fighter and it was a bloody nightmare to get the carburetor set up so definitely not going to be stubbing that one plus I think it's getting pretty illegal nowadays to do stuff like that and a massive thank you to the Northerner for the cup of coffee cheers Steve very much appreciated and very much needed so that's it, the end of the video. I know it's quite easy to leave a comment if you're on a laptop or a computer or a mobile phone, but if you're on another source like a smart TV or a PlayStation or whatever, and you're on YouTube with that, it's almost impossible to comment and leave a thumbs up. So I understand and let you guys off.
I see you in another life, brother.